There's new information on a weather authority alert. Violet has it for us now. Yes, we have another flash flood warning that's issued for pretty much the same area, and this is in Cortland County. It runs from right now through 8.45 p.m., and I want to show you what's happening. So here's a live look from our triple Doppler radar sponsored by Falso Service Experts. We are seeing, seeing widespread rain, but the heaviest is to the south of the thruway, south of Syracuse, and especially in Cortland County. They've already seen a good one to two inches of rainfall, and heavy rain continues to come down in this same location. So as we zoom in here to show you who is going to be affected by this, right now we are currently seeing some active flooding and tons of roads shut down in Cortland, East Scott, down into Greek Peak and by Marathon. And we're also seeing some heavy rain continuing to come down, which means the potential for that flooding is going to continue even as we head into tonight. Now this area of low pressure is heading in along this stationary front, and this is going to continue to bring widespread rain as we go into tonight. But if Eventually, it will taper off through the day tomorrow with some nice dry air moving in and some warmer temperatures on the way as a nice south wind drives that in towards the middle of this week. So to sum up your next weather makers, we are expecting some soggy weather conditions for the rest of tonight and into the first half of tomorrow. Then the weather eventually improves as we head towards the middle of the week. We are expecting some cooler temperatures for tomorrow, but we warm up quite nicely as we head through the re week, reaching the mid to upper 70s by Thursday, Friday, and even into the weekend, staying nice and mild. A look at the temperature trend. Highs will only be in the mid 60s tomorrow, which is actually normal for this time of year. Then we'll be warming up well above normal. Highs will be in the mid 70s for Thursday and Friday, still right around 70 degrees Saturday, even through the weekend, still staying above normal. Right now we're sitting in the low 60s with some light rain for most of us, but some heavier rain as we look down south towards Cortland County. That's where we're seeing some active flash flooding. Make sure you do not drive through those areas. Many roads are closed down right now, and we could even see more flooding heading into tonight. To start tomorrow morning, just a few lingering sprinkles and the rain tapers off throughout the day with decreasing clouds and even some peaks of sunshine as we head towards the afternoon. But even with that sun, still going to see some cooler temperatures. A look of your seven day forecast. Highs will only be in the mid 60s on Tuesday. Then we'll be warming up towards the middle of the week. Lower 70s on Wednesday with partly sunny skies. Then mid 70s on Thursday and Friday just in time for dirt week. And still staying nice as we look towards the Syracuse football home game. Just dodging a few scattered sprinkles on Saturday and into Sunday with highs right around 70 degrees. And now here's a look at sports with Tommy.